Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedemar, welcome back from the video of Hitchhiker, we're gonna continue this series. In the last video we went ahead and got kidnapped by a random no, dude, uh, this guy right here. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here, I'm, I'm interested, right? We got all of his trunk or something like that, we discovered he was exactly us. We're the same guy basically, but he's a guy from the past, I'm a, from the future or something. Very cool dude, uh, interesting past from him. Although he is asking a lot of questions, so we gotta be careful. He could be the man with 10 eyes. You never know, boys. So we just gotta be careful. Uh, right now, we're just trying to give him stuff, right, uh, to work with. So the lock box, uh, the business card. There we go. That's what we want to show him. There we go, buddy. You know them? No, but I've heard about them from a guy in Istanbul I met. He had made it through to Europe. But then had come back to get his family. But that's another story. He had come across those Balkan tours on his way back from Serbia. He warned everyone about them who would listen. Apparently, they had a charitable program to have refugees promising to help them. But no one who accepted their help was ever seen from again. Oh. The people. So it's a scam, and they're killing people as well. That's interesting. Human trafficking, maybe? Tourists, too. There were strange stories. Serbia, my girlfriend was there last summer, exactly. She got played by these fools, it looks like. Did she mention anything about those Balkan tours to you? No, she never mentioned that name. Yes, I guess merely the fact that you ever saw her again suggests otherwise. Still, it seems like a connection. I think she met him some, uh, somehow. He has been texting him. Yeah. Well, I hope she hasn't fallen into their hands now. Some of the stories circulating around refugee camps in Serbia at this time. I only heard bits and pieces. Nothing very clear. Mirrors. Rooms full of mirrors. People losing their minds and never coming back. The man with mirror eyes. That's who she wanted me to um, to look for. Oh shit! Yes. People who were heading from. Turkey we're going somewhere here, boys. we are being warned about it. Watch out for mirrors. Rooms full of mirrors. Rooms full of eyes. I need to do something to uh, to help her, I guess. Well, my friend, I think right now the best thing you can do is run for safety. They probably have a good beat on the location, assuming the tumbleweeds were on their payroll. Make no mistake, these guys are dangerous. What's the worst that can happen to me if this is a dream? Okay, what do you suggest I do then? Honestly, I have no idea. But tangling with Balkan tools right now would be suicide. I mean, it's what they want, isn't it? Yes, they want to trap me and get to the box, yeah. Right. Where did you get the box? My girlfriend gave it to me, I guess. Wait, I just told him earlier I didn't have a box. Now I'm telling him I have it. Now I feel like... Now he knows I'm a liar. The fuck? And to all the other people they've hurt. So what's the plan? Where are we going? I wish I knew. Even if I make it to my destination, I'm still not home. That's what it means to be an exile. So you're exiled from your home? Where are we going? Tell me, man. You gotta you be, to you gotta know somehow. Where are you going, Anka? She was the only young person who knew I was leaving. Imagine, she knew when my father didn't. I was always mad at my sister for telling her. She would ask me that when I was putting her to bed. What did you do? Uh, what did you tell her? The only thing you can tell when a person that young asks you a question like that at bedtime. I told her the truth. Not the truth truth, but the truth wrapped in the blanket of a story. Nadia's story? Okay. It's a place where the river Tigris run through Baghdad. A place called the two-story bridge. When I was a kid, I would go fishing there and look out at the water and wonder where it all led. 
As a child, I was told that the farthest place on the earth from Baghdad is a place called Fiji. Yeah, I doubt I that. I would my eyes on the horizon and imagine that all the water led there to the point where the sky met the earth. To my child's mind, Fiji was the place where the sky touches the earth. These people of Fiji, they must be very tolerant people to live in such a place where one has to stoop over at all times and can never stand up straight. Eventually, they resolved to leave and find a new home where the sky was farther from the earth, where the pannolus tree can grow high enough to be woven. So, they left this land right under the sky, leaving behind those people so old and bent that they no longer cared to stand up straight. The other Fijians gradually moved away from the edge of the world and the sky got a little higher and then they found a marvelous place. It was fertile and lush with excellent weather, an orange tree for every backyard. But there was one problem, earthquakes, terrible earthquakes, as frequent as rains during the springtime in this country. All because the sky was still close to the earth. When there's thunder, it echoes off the roof of the sky and causes the ground to break. But the Fijians adjusted. They built their entire civilization out of rubber. Rubber houses with rubber beds that would sway during the quakes. With rubber restraints that would hold the sleeping pigeons tight while they dreamed. I wonder why it never worked, like it, it never fought. I wonder why nobody that. ever thought about that one, boys. She wanted a story about good and Rubber evil. houses, all right. What kind of story children like. So I changed it for her. The It'd smell, though, must be something else in these houses. Who finds the source of all the earthquakes. I thought you already said it was a thunder. What happens in the, in the fairy tale version? So, Nadia finds a dragon hiding under the earth. A dragon with a splinter in its toe, whose terrible roaring causes the earth to break. Nadia slays the dragon and saves the people by uttering a magic spell. Gonothi, say our tongue. Well, there it is. There's the magic spell. He just gave it to us, boys. The spell that we needed. Right? I imagine that's what we need. Gonothi Seaton. It's Gonoli Seaton, alright. Rolls right off the tongue. No? Okay. That was interesting. Can you say that again? All the mirror eyes close. This is the spell Vern said I needed. Yeah. What do those words mean? Yeah, this is the, sp uh, the spell that Vern uh, told me to have. Seems like it. And look, that's not the spell's only power. The card. There's a phone number on it now. Alright, so we got a phone number on it. Oh, there it is. That's the entire phone number right here. Mean? I think you're ready to make a certain phone call. The Balkan Towers? It's the same number that was on my girlfriend's phone. Ready exactly, so it was use? them. Uh, I don't know about this plan. What makes you say that? Seems like a lot of faith to put in a fairy tale spell, yeah. Even if the spell is real, they're too strong. Yeah, it's it's not I, I won't be able to beat them with a spell. Their power is an all seeing eyes. And now you have the answer. Let's do this. I'm worried they'll spot me coming. Yeah, they're, they're those gonna spot me. What you look like? Have they ever seen you? I guess not. See, there you go. Plus, they never expect this. You have the advantage of surprise. Can you remember the spell? Yeah, I won't forget it. Good. Do you have a phone? Yeah, but it's not mine. Yeah, it belongs to the waitress. Even Which? What happened to her? So Is she all right? Here's the plan. You call them and tell them you want to sign up for a tour. A tour? What kind of tour? It doesn't matter. A tour of the Badlands, whatever. Just something to get close enough to them. 
to find out what's going on. Here's the thing. If they act like they're taking you on a tour, everything is good. But if they've figured you out, they'll try to distract you while they kidnap you. Take it from me. They tell you someone you care about is in danger. But don't believe it. If everything's fine, then everything's fine. But if someone you know is in danger, it's a trap. Get out of there. Are you ready? All right, I'm, I'm ready, dial buddy. The number. Let's dial the number right here. I kind of want to stick with you, though. I want to go away or anything, you know? All right, let's dial the number. Let's use the phone. Call the number. Let's do it, boys. Yeah, I want to go somewhere. Let's go a, a trip or to Europe or something. Let's go. Yeah. Um, is this a Balkan tour? Yeah, what can I help you with? Uh, I'd like to have a, to take a tour of the Badlands or something. That's a big park. You near the Argus gas station on Route 90? Yeah, I am. All right. I'll pick you up in an hour. All right. Pick me up. Uh, how about I come to you instead? You don't have a car, do you? How did you know that? Just guess from your voice. So, see you in an hour. All right. Well, where do we meet exactly? How will I find you? Don't worry. I'll find you. That seems ominous. All right, well, boys, we got a rendezvous with that guy, which a uh, very strange voice. Definitely doesn't sound like a kidnapper, does he? So All right. it worked then? Well, I, thi I think so. Hard to tell. Hey, what's happened to you? What's happening to you? Exactly. You're fading away. Isn't that how these things normally work in the stories of this country? What do you mean? Other characters shows up, impart some hard-earned wisdom, then conveniently fades away. Oh. So you're t you're telling me you're a plot device. Is what you're telling me right now. You're just a plot device. Poor guy, man. Yo, I'm sorry about that one. I was starting to take a light to you, man. Don't fade away. I need your help. It's a few minutes before 3.30 in Istanbul. There's another raft waiting. Another try. Good luck. Now don't leave don't me. Don't my friend. You have allies all along this road. Even in the cars of enemies. I've left something for you. You've left something for me? A letter. What is this? Let's hey, read it, boys. Sorry, I haven't written in a while. All right, so this is it. He's gone. He's back to his country, boys. So he was just a plot device. He really said it himself. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, on to the last ride, boys. We'll see what uh, what happens then. I don't know. But uh, this is getting really strange. This is the only di dude that I actually uh, uh, liked quite a lot. I liked him quite a lot, boys. Uh, was a f I was kind of starting to get a like to her, but these two I don't like. Uh, this one I like a lot. Uh, her, like I said, I kind of liked her at the, the end of it, but she kind of left left me and never. She said no and left, basically. I don't know what go what happened to her. Uh, let's see uh, with, uh, with that person, though. What's gonna happen? Hey, sorry I haven't written in a while. It took me all morning just to figure out where to buy stamps here. So, I'm sending you something from my trip, like I promised. Last week, I was at yet another barbecue. People here really enjoy their pork chops, let me tell you. There was this old timer there, the host's father. He was talking about inflation during the war years. He ran upstairs to get something, something he was excited to show me. He comes back down with a 50 billion dinar bill. He starts talking about, at the time they printed it, inflation was so bad that in the morning it could buy one sandwich. By lunchtime, it could buy half a sandwich. It's a beautiful piece of printing, don't you think? All these O's lined up next to each other. Anyway, keep it tucked away for safekeeping. What's going the on big here, piece boys? The news on my end is that yesterday, I finally tackled my fear of heights. Your humble correspondent from the Balkans went hang gliding. Yes, me. Hard to believe, I know. I wasn't gonna do it, 
but this tour guide guy I met talked me into it, facing my fears and all that. But then the tour guide takes me to the hill where they do the hang gliding, and they're talking about the most crazy thing that happened the week before. You're not going to believe this. It's a tandem dive, so they have you strapped in with an instructor, right? Well, last week they strapped someone in, but the instructor forgot to strap himself in securely. They go running off the cliff and the instructor tumbles down the hill. The instructor was okay, just some bruises, but now the other person is stuck up in the air with no idea how to fly the thing. Everyone okay. on the ground is freaking out. That's Yelling a very interesting move in right the there. The game the do. developers did. That's uh, that's kind of cool. That once she got over the initial terror, it was like she'd been doing this, been flying a hang glider all her life. That's kind of cool. We're that person, boys. Look at that. It must have been exhilarating. I like that. that. First wave of fear. Well, I gotta Once tell you for there, first hand experience from uh, actually parachuting the myself. Like down, and there are these not fun, boys. Not fun at all. Not ma not for me, that's for sure. It's not I parachuted. So I did not either. enjoy Once it whatsoever, it. boys. Was the Today, one of the worst experiences of my life I, I after the fact. During the fact, I was too scared. After the fact, I literally threw up so many times I couldn't count uh, count it, boys. So kind of not a fun, not a fun time for me. But I, I wouldn't imagine fun. me being able to glide at all. If I can't parachute, imagine gliding. Holy shit! Collect memory objects. All right. What type of game is this? So we got this right here. Got it. Got it. So do uh, do one thing every day that scares you, okay? We can do stuff like this on our road trip together. Can we? Sometimes I hate how we live in Seattle, just sitting around in our own heads all the time. I feel like I can't turn though. I can look around, I can't turn. It's very strange. Yeah, there's another one of those. I don't I don't know if I want to get those though. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna get them automatically. What is this? Greetings from Seattle, okay. If you don't shake the fear out of your system on a regular basis, it curdles up into anger. I don't want to be angry. I see, boys. We're still flying. Very interesting right here. Look at all this. I like the, how, it, how it's done. I like the game quite a lot. Oh, we didn't get it. Sorry about that one. I didn't get it. Alright, so how do I turn back around? Okay, so... We have to get those, but how do I turn? Can I just go down? I'm supposed to get those things, right? Those memories or something. I don't know, but uh, let's just do our thing right here. Got you, got you, got what it. You? There we go. Finally got it. A real letter, but an email would be great. How is everything going? How did it go with that California assignment? The thing about the grape farmers? Didn't do so well. This week, right? Actually, uh, got uh, drugged. Went to a couple of stranger really drivers. About coming back home to you. But now you think about it, it seems like a fun time, time it, doesn't it? That's what I've learned here. Fear is the mind killer. Love you. All right. Well, where are we going now? I'm still controlling this thing, aren't I? Jeez, there you are. What? Oh, sorry, I was spacing out. Is this the, is that you? With your presence, I've been looking all over for you. You were supposed to be waiting by the post office, remember? I got caught up in something. I'm sorry about that one. Look, we've all got a lot on our minds since the accident. I don't have time to drive all over Mankato looking for you. I've barely gotten any sleep since it happened. We're still on time for the tour, right? The tour. Visiting hours are until seven. So yes, you'll get a chance to see her. And Craig, he'll be there? Craig? Sure, it's only because of him that I'm picking you up. Honestly, some of us weren't so happy about the idea of having you around in the hospital. But uh, he made a good case for you in that altruistic way of his. Said, we're not here to pass judgment. Look, where are we headed exactly? What? Hang on. the fuck what the fuck is this that's awesome yo I want one of those my guy shut up this isn't just any kind of phone call oh this is awesome we're kind of like futuristic type of bullshit right there what is this 
I like that. No, he turned up eventually. Yeah, he's sitting right here. Who's he talking to? The man with the ten eyes thing? No, I didn't think so. Yes. Okay, I'll wait then. What was that? What? That helmet, my guy. That was awesome. It's called a headset. It's a good way to not wreck your car while you're using a phone. Something I would think you'd be very invested in at this point. That's kind of a cool invention right there. That's it's really an cool. I know. Sorry. But you just don't pull a phone out of someone's hand while they're behind the wheel. You should have known better. Is that what we did? Is that what happened to that, that one accident? Radio? We making you play? Alright, so you okay, dude? Or what, what's going on here? Gotta say, you got a nice car. Darlene? What the fuck? How is she interacting with me that far away? She doesn't, doesn't have anything else to do. No, I don't have the lockbox. I'm sorry about that one. I'm not gonna roll down any windows. You don't have it? Please tell me you do. Roll down the window if you've got the box with you. No, I don't have it. I don't have it, my girl. Sorry about that one. I don't have any boxes. You know what? I'm kind of intrigued with this guy. Seems like a cool dude. Has an helmet and everything. Then Bun was right. It's just lying out there for someone to find. Listen, we need to find it. Find what? how much they know they know look where are we going to the hospital is this funny to you because it's not to me but it's not funny to me man i don't have any i don't remember anything what about the balcony tours i yeah uh, I, I did ask for balcony tour when am i gonna get it where are we going to you the really hospital go there? you really want to talk about this yeah i want to go there of all moments Listen, I know that she wasn't honest with you, that she couldn't bring herself to be straightforward about her feelings. I know it hurts you, man, but you two have been growing apart for a while. In the end, she just wanted to be with someone, someone more dedicated. That's the direction she was growing in. It didn't happen overnight, but the trip to Europe and meeting Craig, yeah, that was a big part of it. It's always about Craig, isn't it? That son of a bitch. G Craig is the one who hurt her, not me. I know you're working together with him. Fine, whatever. Yes, we're all working against you. Are you satisfied now? Because this is hardly the time to bring your hurt feelings out onto the stage. Can I tell you something? You're a great photographer. I mean, nobody doubts that, man. But at some point, if people keep screwing you over, keep betraying you, at a certain point, if everywhere you go, people keep being assholes to you, well, guess what? Maybe you're the asshole. Okay. I see where this is leading. Mind if I turn the radio? The radio? Sure, go ahead. Right, let's turn it on. Copernicus, there's no time to lose. You have to act quickly now. Before he puts that helmet on again. Use this bell. Stop him. What? Why are you out to get me? Yeah, why are you out to get me, my guy? I'm not going to use the spell. I'm good. Look, I don't mean to be too hard. I got the spell, right? It's not going to do shit. Hours, Look, but we all I'm have. fine with him. He can do whatever he wants to me, boys. Sister, it's already too late for me. My sister? What the hell? He's lying. Use the spell. Stop him. I'm not saying anything. I'm intrigued. I got to get this. Yeah, I'm intrigued. I feel like these yeah, these guards are the uh, the bad people, minutes. not me, yeah, uh, not like this guy. No, I feel no, like no. the guards are the bad people. Yeah, I agree. It's time to call his bluff. Step on the brake. Stop him. Do it. Step on the brake. No, I'm not stepping okay, on any brake. About to hit the exit. We got him. Line and sinker. Okay, uh, about to hit the <laughs> like, uh, He's literally talking uh, next to me and stuff like that. 
Look, I want to go to the trip, my guy. Just get me to the trip. Don't give a fuck about any girlfriend or whatever. I'm just messing around with the guards, boys. Who cares about a, uh, saving a girlfriend when you can get kidnapped yourself? Oh shit, they're glitching out. Oh, they're glitching out quite a lot, huh? They, they really want me to, uh, to step out on the brakes. I'm not gonna do it though. Fine okay, by me, uh, we'll do it. I'm sorry about that one, my buddy. Ah, what are you doing? Let go. Sorry about that one, my guy. I mean, I didn't have much of a choice here. It's the only option they were giving me, the game, that is. Darden is not even answering to me anymore. I probably killed that guy for no reason. He seemed like a, friend, uh, like a friendly dude. I don't know why, like, what's going on here? So, what do we do exactly here? Because, uh, oh, there's the key. Okay, I got you. So, what do I do with the key exactly? Do I open the door? Open the window, open the door. What, what do I do with the key, boys? There's something I can do with it. I, I'm not sure, though. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, the box. The goddamn box. All right, let's unlock the, the box, I guess. We got the key to the box. All right, we're about to find out. What, it, what is this? Oh, no, not a puzzle. Recall what happened. What the fuck? Oh, no, boys. This is... Oh, this is a nightmare right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Find and the there it is. Naked. We got it. We got the box. There it took me a while to actually get the box. But there it is right there, this boys. Cannot. We unlocked it. I'm not sure if there's wrist. any other actual the options wrist. for this game. I think you are supposed to unlock the box, boys. So there it is. There's the box unlocked. Whatever that, ha uh, whatever that means. Not sure what that means. And the guy just disappeared. Well, that's great. What is this? What is this now? Oh, look at this. All right. All right, so it seems like we might be the guy with the, the, the eyes, okay? The cassette. Let's look at it. Let's listen to it. Help me. Save me from this man. That's not creepy at all. What the fuck? What? Oh, my car! The hell? What's going on here, boys? Help me! Save me from this man! Oh, please, I think he flew into the bottle on purpose. What are you, the public defender to all things living? Fireflies can't talk. Someone has to speak up for him. If the six tiny mittens don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> yeah, I'll set it free in a minute. I just think this light is incredible. Let's keep him as our pet. Now who's being cruel? I think I'll always remember this. This is one of those nights, right? One of what nights? We'll always have this. If you ever get to a point where you feel like you've lost me, all you have to do is find your way back to here and sit down beside me. <laughs> I hope the grass isn't so wet next time. I'm serious. Write a note to your future self and put it in this bottle. If there's ever a point where things have gotten totally screwed up between us, that moment isn't real. This one is. All you have to do is find your way back to me. What if I can't find the way? That's why I've made you this beacon. A bottle with a green light to show you the way. Sense of direction isn't exactly your strong suit, Copernicus. Let's make a pact with this honorable firefly as witness. I promise my screwed up future self won't mess this up for us. I don't know. My future self can be a real jerk. Mine too. We're going to make mistakes. Hurt each other. Everyone does it. So, time traveler, what news, what wisdom do you bring from the future? That it's never too late. That any mistake can be fixed. Good. If that's what you believe. Wait, so that's it? 
Well, that was interesting, boys. That was a, nice, uh, a pretty good game. A uh, pretty good indie game. I'm pretty happy I actually, uh, like, played it. I'm really happy about it, boys. It doesn't cost anything. It's pretty... A, a decent game. Uh, I think it's setting up for a sequel or something because there's no real ending to this game. I gotta be honest, all the choices I made were to not... Were, were leading me to not go for her. Like, I didn't have a choice at the end. They gave me no other choice but to open the box. But if I would have gone my way, uh, I wouldn't have opened the, the box. I would have just let them do whatever they wanted to do with me, right? The, uh, the bad guys or whatever. So I don't know what this is all about. If this was intended to be this way. I'm going to look around on YouTube if there is other endings, secret endings or something I missed out on. Because it feels like it might, it, it went just one way. You didn't have any other options but to make, uh, push the brakes on. I don't know, boys. It doesn't seem like it went the way I wanted it to go. But the game overall was pretty fun. So we'll see where this leads at. Or remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this series. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.